Hi friends and welcome back to the program. Well, this coming Sunday, October 4th, downtown Buffalo in front of City Hall and around Niagara Square, starting around 8.30 in the morning, all the way until 10 and after is going to be packed because we are getting ready for the 14th annual Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk. And this morning we're joined by Joanne Herrig, Special Events Coordinator, uh, Director, really, I should say, for the American Cancer Society, Survivor Rose Reichmuth, and I am joined by our own Bridget Blythe from Eyewitness News. Nice to have you on the show. We're all glad to be here. Yeah, we are. Welcome, me. ladies. Welcome. 14 years we've been doing this. Oh, well, this will be this the 14th year. This will be our 14th year. year doing this walk in Western New York. Take us through the uh, event on Sunday. Now, registration begins Registration at begins at 8.30, and then we start our onstage program at 9, and we do a countdown at about a minute to 10, and then everyone walks out. We walk down by the Naval Park and back into uh, Niagara Square. It's the coolest okay. looking thing. Yeah. Because you've got is. different teams. You don't have to be on a team, mm -hmm. but you do get a lot of teams in different colored yeah. t-shirts. Yeah. Very powerful. And a lot of pink t-shirts. And everywhere you see a pink t-shirt, that represents a survivor. Mm -hmm. And speaking of uh, a shirt, you're holding something that this is beautiful. This it is our, really this is. This is our shirt this year. Who designed that, Joanne? Um, this was actually designed by our national, um, National American Cancer Society designs okay. this. Okay. But then every division picks their own material and own shirt. Sure. And so our division went with this type of shirt this year, which is really nice. It's a wicked shirt for people who are out walking. Yeah, it looks kind of silky. It's it, got that yeah. really nice feel about it. It is. It's a really nice shirt. Clean, yes. we'll call it. What's different about this event is, well, there are a lot of things that are different about it, but it's it's not a competition. It's not like a 5K race, like when we do the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure, which is another great event. This one is just sort of, we're all walking together every stride, remembering people we've lost, people who are still fighting and looking for a cure. That's exactly it. This this is more than just a walk. It's a walk to honor survivors. It's mm -hmm. a walk to remember those that we've lost to this event or to this disease. And it's a way for us to raise funds so we can fund more research so that less people will lose the battle. And someday we won't walk for that. We'll walk just to remember those we had lost yep. and now thanks for a cure. Hope yeah, that, oh, that day is the day we all pray for. Rose, tell us your story. Um, well, I'm a resident cancer survivor. I was diagnosed in 2000 and again in 2007. But I'm really walking in memory of my sister Bonnie. Um, her name is Helen Dietz and she was diagnosed at the age of 36 and then she passed away at 42. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, but she, we, we both did so much for the American Cancer Society. We went to all the programs and everything and they were our lifeline. They helped us through a very difficult but, but situation. But you're a survivor. Yes, I am. Now, were your ailments different? Or are they similar? Um, because of my sister's you know, awareness when she was alive and everything, I knew what to look for. Okay. I just had a dimpling in my skin. But you know, she was 36 and they don't start recommending yearly mammograms for yeah. women until 40, but that doesn't mean we right. shouldn't be taking it upon ourselves right. to do self-diagnosis and things right. like self, that at home. Self, you know, exams. And You've got to listen to your body. You do. And you know your body better than anyone now, else. Now, Rose, this could be something very important to people out there watching, as, as Bridget mm -hmm. said, younger women, but who know there is a history of cancer in right. their family. Right. Obviously, you must have had a history of it in your family. Um, well, I was tested for the gene, and I don't have it. Um, so that's, that's a very good sign because I have a daughter and granddaughters. Um, but just to be aware of your body and everything and, you know, watch your diet, watch what you eat, you know, exercise and everything. And as someone who's never had a mammogram, you know, because I'm 28, right. is it something we should be scared of or should we just embrace it as, hey, part of life, got to do it, got to well, be you aware? Know, I think the guidelines are the age 40, but if there is a history of breast cancer in your family, I would definitely But is it a scary procedure, you know what I no, mean? No, not a, a mammogram, no, no. Because I feel like a lot of people brush it off. You know, my aunt was diagnosed with breast cancer about six or seven mm -hmm. years ago, and she had been pushing it off, pushing it off, and it was when she was in the shower. Mm -hmm. Then she realized, I, I better not put it off, I better get in there, and sure enough, she had a mastectomy and everything. Really, yes. How yeah. old was your aunt, Bridge? Oh my goodness. Or is your aunt, she, I'm sorry. Now she's in her mid-50s. In her mid-50s, yeah. when did this happen? Um, about six or seven years ago, and, okay. and as we say, we, we call them birthdays now. Once right. somebody yeah. is a survivor, you celebrate your years of and life after that. And I to celebrate a lot more birthdays until yeah. at least 80 or 90. I certainly hope <laughs> within our lifetime, but certainly in our children's lifetime, it, it's going to be exciting. We, we all are aware that they now claim they have a vaccine to prevent AIDS, mm -hmm. and I still contend that the day they discover the cure for this, it's going to be something that's been in our face all our lives. Right. It's right. growing out yeah. there in nature right now. 
and we just don't know about it. And that's but, why people need to come to the Making Strides Walk. Um, please come and even if you donate a few dollars, every dollar helps. Okay. It really does. Hey, we thank both of you for being here thank and getting us ready for this well. wonderful event that's coming up this Sunday. <laughs> and uh, we want to remind everybody, Making Strides Against Breast Cancer, the walk is this Sunday the 4th, and it starts at Niagara Square right here in downtown Buffalo. Registration at 8.30. Uh, you, as Joanne said, there's a stage presentation around 9, and then they do a countdown and start the walk at 10 a.m. You can email Joanne Herring at cancer.org if you need more information or go on uh, on the phone. That's low tech, but I love it. 1 800 227 2345. It's supposed to be sunny. Yeah, it's going to be a nice day. Mm -hmm. be a great day. Promotional consideration for the preceding segment provided by the American Cancer Society.